So inside this truly giant box is my full spectrum uh, laser cutter. There she is. It's so big, it's hard to get it all in frame. So let's take a peek inside. And there is stuffs. This is all the stuff that was inside the cutter. There's a blower, uh, there's a water pump, uh, there's a ruler for focusing the laser, there's a power cable, uh, there's a USB cable also, uh, there's also a air compressor, uh, there's the honeycomb again, uh, some sample pieces, and also came with masking tape. So I'm supposed to inspect the tube before proceeding any further. Wow. That, that looks like a laser tube. Okay, first curiosity, there is a hose clamp there. And, uh, Looking at the documentation, it mentions a hose clamp. It's often we will ship the laser with the hose clamp and the right round rail, which, which, which I should remove. I've decided to uh, replace the uh, the fitting on the water pump. Um, the one that came with it, this guy seems highly questionable. I was really concerned that the uh, the tubing might slip off, and uh, that could be bad because if it runs without water cooling, that could destroy the tube. So I've got some stuff connected here. Um, got some uh, ventilation tube going outside. Uh, that is something I had to purchase. I wasn't expecting to, but it wasn't that expensive. Um, I've got the uh, air pump down here. I've got a bucket uh, of five gallons of water, uh, distilled water, um, and that's getting pumped by a pump inside of it uh, to cool the laser. I tried doing a test fire and uh, I saw current on the little meter over here, but I didn't actually do anything to the target. Uh, so uh, I'm doing a little troubleshooting now. This is a thermal paper I have in there, just off of a, a printer receipt, a, a credit card receipt. And uh, it um, uh, turns black very readily in response to heat. So what we're going to do is we're going to crank the laser way down, turn up a little bit, and now we're going to do a test fire and see if we can figure out if that laser is actually going someplace. I do not see anything there. I'm going to crank up the current a bit more. There we go. Hey, okay, so there's a laser there, all right. So I uh, turned a couple screws, and I think I've got everything aligned now. So let's see what happens when I uh, turn on our test. Hey, there we go. So there's uh, two different mirrors you may need to adjust to uh, get things working properly. There's this guy here known as the uh, y-axis mirror uh, and there's also this guy back here known as the x-axis mirror. Um, and both these mirrors are adjusted using an allen wrench uh, with little screws in the back. And There's three here and I think there's four on the one in the back. Uh, this is a little bit of a tedious process and you gotta kinda go slow and just kinda keep trying at it and trying at it and eventually you get it. Uh, this one in back is particularly difficult because you need to actually get at it through the back of the laser. Uh, let's see what happens. Not quite there yet, but it's a start. So the way you adjust the z-axis on the laser, which is which controls the focus, uh, is by turning uh, this kind of dial type thing here. Counter little issue with my z-axis is uh, one of the uh, supports isn't uh, isn't turning. So you see these guys here, how they're turning, and then this guy here when the so this is the uh, the culprit. This should not be uh, spinning freely like this. I just uh, super glued it in place. Uh, hopefully that was the right thing to do.
Okay, so I figured we'd do an actual little test cut here. Uh, what I've got is I've got Inkscape up, uh, and you can use Corel Draw or any other uh, vector-based drawing program for this. Uh, but I've got a line here, an outline of blue, and then I've got uh, RAR uh, in the middle in black. And what we're going to do is we're going to etch RAR in to the lion, uh, and then we're actually going to cut out the line afterwards. So what we're just going to do is do File Print, pick the full spectrum driver, do print, and that's just going to send that over to um, Full Spectrum's uh, Retina Engrave app. So what we're looking at right now is we're looking at Raster Engrave view, and you can see we see both the Lion and RAR in there. We'll do the Raster Engraving first. I think everything's lined up, so let's hit, uh, let's hit go and see what happens. Let's go ahead and do the vector cut. So this is a second operation, but it's off the same print job, and everything should be aligned automatically. So should have the cut speed and power set up. Should be doing two repeats. Let's uh, click go. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> 